What is Wi-Fi 6 and how it benefits you? Wi-Fi 6 is the next generation standard in Wi-Fi technology. Wi-Fi 6 also known as X Wi-Fi or 802.11X Wi-Fi, builds and improves on the current 802.11AC Wi-Fi standard. Under the new naming convention, Wi-Fi generation name is linked to the IEEE standard that they support, Wi-Fi 6 to 802.11X, released in 2019. Wi-Fi 5 to 802.11AC, released in 2014. Wi-Fi 4 to 802.11N, released in 2009. Wi-Fi 3 to 802.11G, released in 2003. Wi-Fi 2 to 802.11A, released in 1999. Wi-Fi 1 to 802.11B, released in 1999. Along with the new method if identifying various generations of Wi-Fi technology, is the concept of clearly labeling devices and software that support different types of Wi-Fi. This is intended to make it easier for the general Wi-Fi user, to understand the capabilities of their devices and software, and make more informed choices regarding upgrades and equipment purchases. This means, you should start seeing devices that advertise they support Wi-Fi 6, rather than the 802.11x standard. That certainly is easier to remember. What are the key features of Wi-Fi 6? 1. Backwards compatible with 802.11a, b, g, n, a, c, that means users don't have to replace their current smartphones, tablets and computers. 2. Higher data rates, Wi-Fi 6 offer speed that are roughly 30% faster than a Wi-Fi 5, with theoretical maximum transfer speeds around 10 gigabit per second. But we need to fully test the hardware out for ourselves. 3. Wi-Fi 6 uses both 1024COM, quadrature amplitude modulation, to provide a signal packed with more data giving you more efficiency, and a 160 MHz channel to provide a wider channel to make your Wi-Fi faster. That provides 10 digits of binary with each transmission, while Wi-Fi 5 use only 256 COM or 8 digits of binary at once. 4. Optima, Orthogonal Frequency Divisional Multiple Access, Optima gives access points the ability to divide channels into many sub-channels. It means that access points can communicate with multiple devices at the same time at a lower data rate. 5. MU-MIMO, Multi-User Multiple Input and Multiple Output, Capabilities, Wi-Fi 5 was already using MU-MIMO for downlinks. Wi-Fi 6 uses 8x8 uplink slash downlink to simultaneously receive communication from multiple clients. 6. Another important benefit of Wi-Fi 6 is the increased battery life that devices accessing a Wi-Fi 6 while the battery life is extended through a feature known as Target Wake Time TWT. TWT enables the Wi-Fi access point to communicate with your device, to tell it when exactly to turn its Wi-Fi radio to wake up and go to sleep. Think about upgrade to Wi-Fi 6? Here are some factors to consider if you are thinking about upgrading to Wi-Fi 6. 1. New Router You obviously will need a new router that supports Wi-Fi 6. Simply having the router will not necessarily lead to performance improvements as the devices accessing the network need to be Wi-Fi 6 compliant in order to enjoy all the benefits of the new standard. 2. New Cables Since Wi-Fi 6 can handle up to 10 gigabits per second, you need to have a new cable that can handle data rates that involve 10 gigabits per second to enjoy everything in Wi-Fi 6. The cabling that needs to be used in this case is Category 6A cables. 3. If you wanted to take full advantage of Wi-Fi 6, you need to have a faster plan from your ISP provider. To match it and right now, most plans don't go nearly that high, in other words ISP still have a lot of work to do with it. And remember Wi-Fi 6, is an upgrade for Wi-Fi devices, not an upgrade to your Wi-Fi service. In general, if you have a slow connection from your service provider, a Wi-Fi 6 won't fix it, 